Now we will see the example for enum type ranges. In the module, I am taking 7 enums. For each enum, I am taking type depth because I want to give the easier name. This alphabet 1 is the variable of the enum type. So I want to give the new name for this alphabet 1. So for that, I need type depth. Okay. So we already discussed how to declare and initialize the values for enum. Now we will see how to access the values, how to access the elements, element names and the respective values. Okay. First, what you have to do? First, you have to assign one name or assign one element to the variable. Okay. Now I am printing the values here. What is the printing statement? A1 and name. Percentile 0D means it will return you the value of the element. And percentile 0S means string, right? It will give you the name of the element. For that, if you give A1, it will give you the value and A1 dot name. This dot name method will return the name of the element. The first element. First, we will, I'll run the code and we will discuss the answers. Okay. Yes. This statement. A1 is equals to 1, name is equals to B. Why I am getting A1 is equals to 1? Here I am assigning the element B, right? B is which element? Second element. B is second element. Value of the B is 1 here. So it's, it's returning a value 1 and name is B. And in the next example, A2 is equals to G. A2 is equals to G in the second example. A2 is equals to G means where G is there? The third element, right? third element is g here so name of the element is g and the value of the element g is 8 so it's written 8 and name is g and in third example a3 is equals to j a3 is equals to j in this example j is second element what's the value of j 4 so it's returning value 4 name is j like this it will give and in the last example a7 is equals to d3 in this example a7 is equals to d3 where d3 is there? Second element. So d3 value is 4, right? It will return the value 4 and name of the element is d3. So it is like which element you are assigning. Based on that, it will return the value and name of the element. But for that, you need to assign first. You need to give the uh, value. You, need to, you can give the value also, not only name. For example, in the first example, I am taking 2, okay? Or I will take 3. Now you can see 3 means which element 0 1 2 3 it should return the value return the element name D okay here see name is D and a1 is 3 you can give either value or name of the element both method you can uh, try okay this is about enum type ranges next we will see enum type methods